Hello everyone, welcome to the Render Island channel. Today, my colleague Sahan will be teaching you how to integrate ARKit with a React Native app. ARKit allows you to easily build AR scenes for iOS devices, but it is super easy to build an app using React Native. So let's explore how you can get the best of ARKit in a React Native project. First of all, we have to create a React Native project. I have created this project using the React Native CLI. You can find the guide how to create a project in the React Native official documentation. Then you can open the project, go into this iOS folder and open the Xcode workspace file and it will open the project in Xcode. So what we are going to do here is create a native module in react native to achieve our goal i have already created the necessary file so i will explain how to do this yourself so let's have a look in xcode here in the project folder i have created a new group for the new files we are going to create these are the files i had to create so let's check those one by one so this is the sample scene we are going to show in our AR view. You can find this scene in a GitHub repository called ARKit Sampler. This scene is located in the ship folder in the models.scn assets folder. You can download the ship folder and import into the Xcode. Make sure to rename the folder to ship.scn assets like this before importing. So let's check the native AR view file. I have created a class that inherits from the AR SCN view from the AR kit. You have to implement these two initializers when you inherit from the AR SCN view. When you are creating this file, Xcode will ask you a confirmation to create a new file called a bridging header. Whenever you mix the two languages in an iOS project, you will also need an additional bridging file known as the bridging header. This bridging header plays a key role in exposing Objective-C files into Swift. So let's go back to the native AR view file. I have created a method called setup view to start our session. As you can see, we are importing the ship scene which was copied to the project earlier and assign it to the scene of this view. Then we need to show this ship model inside the ship scene in our real world. For that, we need this AR world tracking configuration. And finally, we are running the session. We also need a delegate for this AR SCN view, which is responsible for handling all the events of this view. So I have created a new file called native AR view delegate for that purpose. In this file, we need to create a class that inherits from NS object and ARSCN view delegate. I don't have included any additional code here, but you can use this delegate in future for more advanced things like plane detection and other things. Now we have the view we need to show the AR content and next we have to expose this view into react native so i have created this native ar view manager file which includes a class that inherits from the rct view manager in this class i have created an instance from the native ar view and we need to Override these two methods in order to expose this view into React Native. In this view method, we need to return the instance of that native AR view. 
Then we also need to create an Objective C implementation file to export this as a native module. Here I have registered the required information with React Native. So that's everything you have to do in the Xcode project. Now we can go to our application code and display the native AR view in our components. So here I have created a new React component that uses the required native component method to import the manager class we have created in the Xcode project. The name we have to provide for this method should be the exact name of the view we have created which is native AR view. Then I have imported that AR view component into our app component and rendered it there. So that's all you need to do the configuration with AR kit in React Native and add AR content into your application. So now let's try to build and run the application in our device. So let's go to the Xcode. Before running the application, you should go to the Xcode and then signing and capabilities and select your team with the Apple developer account which will require to run an application in a physical device. The project will take some time to build and run in a device. So I have already done that process and let's see the demo in this device. You can see the ship model in the real world. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel for more augmented reality tutorials.